This is a dinosaur. This isn't a dinosaur. This is a dinosaur. This isn't a dinosaur. This is a dinosaur. This is not a dinosaur. This is Dimetrodon. And even though it's been depicted in loads of stuff related to dinosaurs, it isn't actually a dinosaur itself. But the reason why it's probably been depicted with all this dinosaur stuff is because things with sails are apparently cool in paleontology. Spinosaurus, go away. Dimetrodon lived during the beginning of the Permian, which is near the end of the Paleozoic. And it's important to highlight Dimetrodon, in my opinion, because this is the weird thing. Dimetrodon is a synapsid, which means we are much more closely related to Dimetrodon than we are to any dinosaur that's ever existed. Dimetrodon is an ancestor of mammals. Dimetrodon is probably the most famous mammal-like reptile, and we have evidence to suggest of its mammal evolution by looking at its teeth. Dimetrodon in its name actually means two measures of teeth. It has different types of teeth in its jaw. Rather than previous reptiles that have the same types of teeth in their mouth without there being anything different for different diets. It's thought that this creature would have been mostly a predator and as all the continents were joined together forming one major landmass known as Pangaea, Dimetrodon was able to spread across the land and evolve into different species. We know this because we found fossils in America and in Europe like Germany, so we know that Dimetrodon did spread across a major landmass during its time when it was alive, and it would have been an amazing animal to see. While traces of mammals can be found on Dimetrodon, it is still a reptile, and it is thought that the sail on its back would have helped to regulate its body temperature. Yet there has been an argument that maybe Dimetrodon wouldn't have been able to regulate its temperature with a sail on its back. Whatever the case, Dimetrodon is definitely an extinct creature that deserves attention because it shows that the evolution of the mammals could have potentially have come a lot earlier. And so if it wasn't for the massive Permian extinction, maybe the first dinosaur that left its footprint might not have happened if they did not get their chance to take over the planet. And maybe the mammals could have had their opportunity to rule the planet a lot earlier and maybe it was an inevitable fate.